Now I request Dr. Kunda Nageshwar sir to address the gathering. Good morning, <clears throat> the Honorable Vice Chancellor, Professor Ravinder sir, the Respected Registrar, Professor Lakshmarana sir, the Principal of the College, Professor Ganesh sir, and Vice Principal, Professor Anupama madam. Today's Chief Speaker, Professor Afro Zalam Garu from Manu University. Of the days, ARC convener, senior teachers, academic administrators, teacher scholars, dear students. <clears throat> Indeed, it's a great privilege to me to share our ideas and views on this occasion. At the outset, my sincere gratefulness to Professor Ravinder sir, our Honorable Vice Chancellor, for trusting my abilities and assigning me the duty of the director for this great center. As we know, Dr. B. R. Ambedkar, as an economist, jurist, political thinker, social reformer, and the modern architect of India. And we also know Dr. B. R. Ambedkar as one of the finest flowers of the 20th century Renaissance. The ideas that he had on the democracy completely different from the ideas the earlier reformers and the political thinkers had. Today we are going to have the lecture, the contextual lecture on democracy and electoral politics in India and the difference between Indian democracy and also Western democracy. As the director of Dr. Bear Ambedkar Center, it is my part to say a few words about our center and on the theme. Our center, Dr. B. R. Ambedkar Research Center, was established in the year 2018, and it has been taking up many activities related to empowerment, socio-political, and cultural aspects of the marginalized sections of the society. There is a wrong notion among the society that Dr. B. R. Ambedkar is the champion and icon for the Dalits. And we always talk about Dr. B. R. Ambedkar's contribution with two things. One is the chairman of the seven-member drafting committee, and the other one is the man who fought for the reservations. More than that, Dr. B. R. Ambedkar's greatness as a constitution, as a father of the Indian constitution, not only the two things, but also one of the greatest persons who lived in this century, Karl Marx, Dr. B. R. Ambedkar, and Einstein, the three important personalities in the universe. Dr. B. R. Ambedkar's contribution as political thinker, as the modern architect of India, as the first prime, first minister for law, and also the man who wrote extensively, spoke effectively on various themes in the roundtable conference and later on. And the man who had great courage to speak the truth. And the man, the first man in India who was efficient and able to man and came forward to be the president of the drafting committee. And also, the man who worked for the empowerment of the weaker sections, downtrodden sections, and marginalized sections of the society. And he added his voice to the voiceless. And his contribution for the upliftment of Indian women is tremendous. And his contribution, and he presented three seminal papers, named Financial and Administration in the British Empire and also administration of provisional finance in British India. And also he wrote an excellent article on the Indian rupee and its solutions. These three articles, after referring to one researcher in economy, should refer to Dr. Ambedkar as an economist. After referring to these articles, one can understand that Ambedkar was not only a political thinker, but also world acknowledged economist. And I'm sure that planning commission, now we talk about planning commission, which defines 
the relations, the financial relations, especially between the center and the state, and Ambedkar ideas were responsible for establishment of the planning commission in this country. Yes, we, if you speak about Ambedkar, it, it takes hours, months, and years. That much of contribution Dr. B. R. Ambedkar had done. As part of the 100 years of celebrations of Usman University, our university, was a, our university established this center and now under the dynamic vice chancellorship of Professor Ravinder Sir. We are fortunate enough, we have sent the proposals to the Ministry of Social Empowerment to the Government of India. And if we get, the, if the proposals are approved, I am sure that the center goes well and center will take up many activities, not only to the researchers, but also the entire community. And the upliftment of women is concerned. Dr. B.R. Ambedkar always spoke effectively and wrote extensively lakhs of pages on the empowerment of the women. He strongly argued that social democracy had to be solved. Not only the political democracy, the political democracy could be understood better by social democracy according to Ambedkar's perspective. In India, there is no equality. There is no equal relations between man and woman, man and a man, and one caste and other caste. The Rigveda Chaturvarna system portrayed, divided the human society mercilessly, especially Indian society. Anyway, our speaker, Professor Afoz Alamgaru here, he will talk how the Indian politics are corrupting, how the present Indian politics have become a threat to the democracy and the expected electoral reforms what are the electoral reforms that are to be taken up in the Indian, in the Indian society? And at the same time, I must, it's, it's my sincere appeal to the research scholars. Yes, don't understand Ambedkar without reading Ambedkar. Ambedkar was not the champion of Dalits, not the representative of Dalits. He was the modern architect of India. If you start look at Ambedkar as the Dalit leader, we stop there only. If you understand Ambedkar's perspective, his contribution, his spiritual beliefs, his political beliefs, and his negotiations, debates with Gandhi and the British government, undoubtedly we can understand Ambedkar better. Ambedkar always used to tell there, are, there were three gurus to him, one of them of Gautama Buddha from ancient India, other one Kabir from medieval India, and the modern one Mahatma Jyoti Bapule. Pule was a great inspiration to Dr. Bear Ambedkar. So that Ambedkar, Pule are not different, both are same. They are the pieces of the same cloth. We have to understand Ambedkar better by reading Ambedkar, I'm sure, under the able leadership of our Vice Chancellor, sir, Dr. Ambedkar Center will come with a series of activities for the students and also teachers and academic administrators. And I must thank to the principal, Professor Ganesh sir, kindly accepted to collaborate with B.R. Ambedkar Research Center soon after taking the charge of the Ambedkar Center. My sincere thanks to ARC members, Professor Lavanya Madam, Swati Madam from Psychology, Swati Madam from Linguistics, and also Vice Principal, Professor Anfa Madam, and the directors, BCCL, SCHT Cell, and Minority Cell, and all the students. Thank you very much for your presence. I'm sure. This is cut and riser program. Now onwards, Ambedkar Center will be with you and always take the activities that make us to know more about Ambedkar, Pule, and others. Thank you. Thank you, Vanita.